Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This week's video will be a short tutorial on how to add a signature within Zoho Mail. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. To create a signature within Zoho Mail, we need to go to settings that are here in the menu on the left side of the screen. So let's click on the settings and here you can use the search or scroll down to the signature. I will show you how can you recreate this signature that I created right here with all of these pictures and with alignment because it can be a bit confusing when you're just getting into that. So to create a new signature, you have to press on the plus button, type in the signature name, and then you have a canvas to work with. So you can see all of the different text options, the fonts, the sizes of the text. You can also change the font color and you can also change the font background color. If you click on this arrow, you will see more options where you can insert an image, a link, an HTML, change the alignment, add the different types of lists and move the text around. And you can also add different quotes, remove the formatting tables, also insert a horizontal rule and an emoji. So let's start creating our signature. So let's start off from just writing down kind regards. And now let's insert our logo. So to insert a picture, you have to go to the arrow, click on it, and here you will see the option of inserting the image. Let's choose the image. So let's choose our logo, uh, choose the size small, and to write a text right next to this picture, you have to choose the alignment on the left and then you will have the option to type in the text because I know that this part is very confusing for a lot of users that don't really know how to write the text next to the picture. You just have to click on the left in the alignment options. Here you can also change the alternative text but we won't do that and you can also upload the picture from the URL. So let's insert the picture. And here you can see that you can now type next to it. So let's type in the name of our uh, CEO and then I will show you how you can add and format the text in different ways. Name, you can just choose the text and then maybe make the font a bit bigger. You can also make it bold and also change the color of it. So let's choose this blue color because it's in our logo. You can also move this a bit lower. And then you can also include some other information. Then you can do like this and then insert a link. This will be the email. So you can type in the email address and you can also type in the subject of the email if you want to insert that. So let's insert. And you can see that it's highlighted with a color now and let's make also a phone. Uh, I also don't really like that this text is in the different color. So you can easily change that to back to black and so it won't be visible. And you can also make these things bold so they're a bit more visible for the person that is here. You can add additional text here, but I want to add also some of the social medias. And to do that, you can easily find the pictures of the social media icons and you can insert them here. And obviously you want to add the links. So you can add the links uh, here, for example, on the logo. To do that, you click on the picture, you go to more, and then you can edit the picture or add the link. So if you click on the link, you can again add the URL or the email. So let's type in the website address and you can insert the link easily. And the same goes for this picture. So if you want people to find you on different social medias, you can easily do that. You can also add the website here. I would add it one more time because not all of the people will uh, click on uh, the logo and know that there's a link hidden there. So we created this beautiful signature. Uh, so then you have the options of the placing the signature above the quoted content or place the signature below the quoted content. You can also associate it from different addresses for new emails and uh, add the associated from addresses for replies. Also, you can associate the contact card. If you're happy with what you've created, uh, you can just press on save and from now on use the signature, this signature in your emails. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful for you. 
If you have any questions about Zoho implementation, integration or customization, make sure to book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. Make sure to subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of useful tutorials that we post here every single week.